Plants were used in the healing practices of ancient civilizations all over the world. The communities of Mesoamerica and the southern United States were no exception. Medicinal plants were cultivated in gardens and studied by community doctors. Basic knowledge of herbal medicine was common as nearly every family grew its own herbs and vegetables. Massage therapists, chiropractors, and midwives also had their place in these ancient communities and were known to administer medicinal plants for numerous ailments. However, this vast knowledge is not as well known today as it once was. Today, San Antonians of Mexican descent, especially the younger generations, may not use medicinal plants or traditional healing practices at all. This is a botanica that's been in the west side of San Antonio for over 45 years, called botanica elegua. Botanica is Spanish for botany, or in this case, a plant store that sells herbs, oils, candles, and other items in the tradition of mestizo healing culture. These places are also known as yerberias, or herb stores. Botanica Elegua caters to both the Mexican and African-American clientele by selling herbs and spiritual items traditionally used in both communities. Over 260 herbs are sold here. Among them, horsetail, blessed thistle, salvia, and gymnemium are all used as supplements by people who suffer from diabetes. According to the owners, Janet and Renee Zenteno, diabetes patients regularly come in to buy these herbs. Most of the store's clientele are senior citizens who still have the knowledge of medicinal herbs passed down from previous generations. Customers in their 30s and 40s are few, and according to Ms. Centeno, patronize the Botanica because of their parents, who brought them along on their shopping trips as they were growing up. She's hopeful that the younger generations will continue to come to the Botanica for their herbal supplements. Doña Enriqueta Contreras is a Zapotec healer from Oaxaca and an expert in medicinal plants and midwifery. She travels to conferences all over the world and teaches people about the science of medicinal plants, self-healing, and the spiritual principles of earth respect and self-respect. This September, she came to San Antonio for a series of lectures on traditional healing practices. Knowing that diabetes is a terrible epidemic here, she discussed specific plants that can be used as a supplement to control diabetes. Among them are the Esperanza plant, horsetail, salvia, blessed thistle, and many others. At the Texas Diabetes Institute, a hospital and research center of the University Health System here on the west side, I met Ruben Alvarado, a current patient. Both his brother and mother had diabetes. Mr. Alvarado said that his mother used the salvia plant to aid her treatment. He said the salvia regulated her blood count and she took less insulin as a result. When I asked him if he ever took salvia for his diabetes, he said no. Just because it worked for her doesn't mean it will work for me, he said. He also said that his doctor just changed his medication regimen and that he didn't really know why he decided to do that. I found myself wondering if Mr. Alvarado ever questioned the wisdom of his doctors the same way he questioned the wisdom of his mother.